Hello, everyone. Walmart. I just got back from Walmart. So I'll show you what I got in a second. So I'm in Tucson, Arizona. And I had my friend Carmen come down with me. She's never been here. And she asked if she could um, <clears throat> uh, shadow me. So, okay. And uh, it was a good trip. It was a good trip. It took about, it took four hours because we stopped along the way, you know, to fuel up, go pee, things like that. And it was a nice trip. So she followed me. It was, um, it went well. I've never really had somebody follow me for that long, but uh, it went great. And I'm glad to be here. I'm very glad to be here. <laughs> I'm ecstatic to be here. Why? Well, for one thing, I don't have to use Google Maps because I know where everything's at. Well, for the most part. I'm sure there's a couple things I don't know. But uh, for the most part, I don't have to use Google Maps. And I know what's available. That's a big deal. I don't mind going to new cities. It's exciting and learning about it and where things are at. But when I'm in Tucson, I know where all the uh, tried and true places are. Places that I enjoy. Places that I know um, the equipment works. And it's a good it's a good, um, good price. Things like that. So I'm glad to be here. I know how the people work. I know the streets. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's busy here this time of year. Very busy. The streets are filled. This is when all the, what, what in Tucson we call the snowbirds. Now I call them nomads, but the snowbirds come in. Actually, snowbirds, the snowbirds would be more classified. They have a home. They're from the east or where it's going to snow. And in the, in the winter, they travel south. They have their, their, um, the rigs, uh, fifth wheels, trailers, class A, B, and C, and they go travel for the winter so they can get away from the snow. And then in the spring, they go back. So I guess those are called snowbirds. But uh, the streets are, they're busy. Little clog, not bad, but yeah. And it's only going to get worse as uh, Christmas approaches closer. Another reason I really am happy to be here is because I have cell coverage. <laughs> yeah. Last night I actually streamed a program on Amazon Prime. Yeah. So that was nice. So I got my purple on. Let's see what we can make this one. We can play lights again. <laughs> There's so many places I can't wait to go, but I can only do one thing at a time, and I want to, um, I needed to go to Walmart. Now, I went to a Walmart way south. It's huge. It's a super, super uh, Walmart, and it's fairly new. It was built while I was in Cincinnati. It's fairly new. There's a Planet Fitness that's close to it. But I was kind of surprised they were really um, out of a stock of a few things, so... I got what I could. I didn't get everything on my list, and now I can't find my list. <laughs> oh, well. I think I left it maybe in my cart. I don't know. So, I'm really happy to be here. And I yesterday, and when I got here, um, I went out for a walk. I wanted to walk. I'd been um The day previously was I needed to get a video together. So, I kind of stayed in yes uh the day before and so i really didn't get my walking in and then yesterday i was in sitting driving for that four or five hours so i got what but i got my um i got my ten thousand steps in and i was looking at trees from a slack line and i think i've got in different areas i've got a couple figured out today i'm going to try over here yeah get out my slack line yay oh that's going to feel so good and see what what why else do I like it in there's just so much there's so much available when the there's two things about boondocking for me personally I know you all have your different um, preferences and that's what makes the world go round we're all um yeah diversity 
So, but for me, for my personal preference, is I like to have a lot of things available. Going into Walmart and Quartzsite was, uh, that was a long drive into Parker. It's kind of a boring drive too. There's not much to see. And what else? Uh, so I like to have things available. So for me being, being on BLM land, the two things that were really nice was just uh, you, oodles of places to park. It's vast. Buku. <laughs> you just, what, which one, what view do I want to have right now? And you park. Um, not so, not here. So, and the quiet. It's so quiet out there and it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. But for me personally, for filming, mm, I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah, but what am I going to show you? Every day I'm going to show you that. <laughs> yeah. So there's more to see here. And I will see a lot of things. Uh, I know Carmen's anxious to see things, but I don't have the time today to do it. Um, I'm going to work on uh, a video, and then I'm going to go slackline and get my stretching in, which I'm deficient in. So, yeah. Now, the day before and uh, two, the two days before, for some reason, I couldn't get uh, to sleep. It was almost like insomnia, and I never have insomnia. I sleep like I sleep like a baby. If that if that's even a good thing, babies wake up a lot, <laughs> don't they? But um, I don't know. I, I'm thinking it might have been the full moon that was uh, creating a lot of energy. So and then you know it does affect the tide. So it could have affected you know the liquid, and it kind of kind of draws on the liquid inside of our body. So I don't know you know the biology, the physics of it, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> got my microphone right there. So I'm glad to be here. I really am. I want to kind of get into a uh, different mode, a different schedule. Oh, and another, th and I don't know why, but you would think that being on BLM land that I can, I can um, spread out a little bit more and have more room in here. That doesn't seem to be the case with me. I enjoy when things are in place. Right now, I've got everything back to where I normally be in city mode. City nomad no mode. City nomad mode. Yeah. Um, I feel actually really, um, really comfortable this way. Maybe it's just what I'm used to. So, um, which comes to another point that I want to, point, uh, I want to um, discuss. Carmen is sort of shadowing me, and, and she's become a friend. And she's more from, in Washington State, she's more from a, rur a rural area. I always find that hard, a hard word to say, rural, rural, <laughs> rural, rural. Okay, so rural, she's more from rural. Although she's been in different places, but she said the past five years she's been in a rural situation. Well, I don't think she was overly crazy with BLM land, with boondocking. Um, it was the bugs, it was the wind out there, and um, and she didn't like the rocks. Although, Quartzite is really, like, level as far as BLM land that I've seen. But she was uh, really worried and, and concerned about all the rocks. And, you know, so it really wasn't that bad. So I don't know. I said, well, maybe be boondocking isn't your uh, thing. Well, then... Um, I've heard her mention that when she was in Las Vegas in Henderson, she didn't like it in the drivers. And then when we were driving through the Phoenix there, she said people were uh, kind of tailgating her, which I did. So I think what it's come down to is the fact that she's not used to the city driving or the boondocking. So um, if she, uh, I, I mean, uh, Carmen, I know you don't watch this. So if you probably, um, yeah, you'll have, and I did tell her uh, to her that you're probably going to have to make some decisions whether this is for you. Because for me, I don't like to hang out in rural towns. <laughs> Everybody knows, not as a nomad. I mean, if I lived there, sure. But as a nomad, I probably wouldn't even live there. But um, not to put down rural uh, communities. But as a boond, as a, a nomad, I mean, everybody knows everybody. And you wouldn't be able to get around too well. Um, stealthy <laughs> even if you had stealthy situation with your with your um, window coverings and stuff they would know where you were and who and they would want to know what what's this person up to <laughs> so I don't I don't happen to like that but 
um, it's really windy out today. It's cold and windy. I don't know, you know, about this afternoon it'll probably warm up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm just looking out there. The trees are like blowing around. And this is in the city. Tucson's in a valley, so you would think. But so here's my point that I'm getting at. Um, I talk about, oh, this is so easy. And oh, it's a, well, I mean, I've lived in Tucson, which I mean, it's not the biggest city, but I did look it up. It's the 38th largest city in the United States. So, I mean, that's, you know, it's getting up there. And it's the second largest in Arizona, which isn't saying much. It's not that many uh, cities in Arizona, <laughs> you know. But, uh, I mean, it is, it's a little bit harder to drive. It's, you have more traffic. So, you know, it's, uh, I just want to bring this up. It's something to think about. If you're from a very small town or a rural town and you just like, man, I'm going to get out there like Minnie Van Lee and the uh, other nomads and we're going to go and you know, I'm going to do city life. And well, the traffic is a little bit more clogged and you want to navigate. And um, I don't find that people tailgate too much in this state. What I, <laughs> where I noticed it was when I went to Ohio. I'm oh my gosh. I mean, I'm used to a city. And then of course I was used to uh, being in Cincinnati for you know, I got along fine in Cincinnati, the highways and the byways and, and, um, you know, in, the, in the city. So I, you know, I'm used to it and, um, I get it. I get how, how you're supposed to drive and stick with the traffic and go with the flow. You know, you don't want to clog up the traffic. Well, I mean, it's going to be a little different. And I will say that, um, BLM land isn't, uh, I mean, it's fun. It's fun to do. I just don't like to do it all the time. You know, I'm going to go back to Quartzsite area and go do BLM land, maybe Ehrenberg or wherever I'm going for the uh, month of January. But for the month of December, I'm going to be in cities. And I kind of want to go to um, some of the smaller towns around here, too, and yeah. see what's up. Um, yeah, I'm going to hang here probably through December unless anything goes down um, that uh, might deter me from being in a, city, in a city situation. You know, maybe with COVID or... Right, but I will save as far for Tucson. There really hasn't been much protesting here. I mean, all through of different things going on over the past 10, 15 years. You know, people want to protest things. If they do, uh, it never is not violent. So uh, Tucson's a pretty, um, a pretty nice uh, city. Um, so that's that's my word of wise to anybody who's new to the. Uh, new to getting organized to the nomad life you know because well um i mean i i liked uh i liked las vegas i did i remember mentioning this like i love there's a nice energy i think in las vegas not not in the because real you know consolidated not um, on the strip but around the area and henderson i found was a really um welcoming uh, uh kind of upscale uh area so i did like that so okay on to walmart let's see what we got here now i did spend 105 dollars but some of the things i spent on are expensive i was running out of um some um, beauty products and i probably will go i wanted to go to that walmart that was on the south and it's huge because they would have had more variety but i i kind of found that yeah the in the future, as this month progresses, I'll go to some different that are a little bit closer. So, I do like these. They're jumbo. And I really do like them. There's only 10, but that's going to last me a long time. And I'll show you why I get these. Let me get one of them. I like these because I can carry things in these. Let's say, let's say I do join the gym and I just don't want to want to have a bag. I can just put things in here. I, I like the I like this size, and I was out of them, so I wanted to get a box of these. Now these are kind of big, 
so I keep this in this really big bin here not my overflow food but I keep them down here in like what I kind of call like sort of like things I might keep under my kitchen sink you know my butane my propane my shampoo my shampoo is kind of a taller bottle my shampoo um, hydrogen a tall thing of hydrogen peroxide uh, what else do I keep in there um, things like that so I got these let's go with the I'm gonna go with the non food products this is where I spent the most of the bulk of my money I was completely out of good lotion and it's like ugh, you know I'd wash up and I just felt dry so um, I decided to pick this one yeah aquaphor yeah and this was like ten dollars it's advanced therapy for cracked and um, irritated skin um, yeah now I'm thinking about going to Planet Fitness so you can do showers here and I was thinking about doing Planet Fitness but to go get showers I did read an article yesterday about showers it really does dry your skin out so much and you really don't need to be washing up that often I found I don't know if some of you have the app or, or do pocket and you can it's like a pocket if you look it up it's um, it it's it's like a little pocket in your you know virtual pocket and you can store articles well they had the best of 2020 pocket articles and one of them that intrigued ones was the showers yeah and so yeah even washing up um, you know like I mentioned <laughs> you want to get the stinky parts and they did mention it. you want under your arms in the stinky area down there and then your feet but the rest of it just you can just wipe down you don't need to be good because there's little uh, microbes that help us and if we're shying all the time we're taking all of our oil away the microbes die because they kind of feed off of I know it sounds weird doesn't it but they're they're helpful they're microbes and now that we're trying to sterilize everything we do have microbes and it did I without going into it it did say that some of the microbes actually keep us from getting skin cancer the microbes that are on our skin so yeah um, so I'm not going to uh, worry so much about like the forearm and thing. I'm just gonna wipe it down and then you know get the other parts really good so yeah aquaphor go into these long explanations but I was completely out I was gonna I do this this kind I know some of you say no you should these aren't worth anything but these are what I take and uh, centrum silver for women 50 plus And this was expensive too, so yeah. With these, well, I'm near uh, garbage thing. I don't have to break down my boxes as much, so. But oh, this was expensive. Yeah, this is. Hyaluronic. I think it's called pure hyaluronic acid. Let me put this up here. It's Vita Lift. I could probably go. I might actually have to go on Amazon. And see but what this does in the morning I wash my face and while there's just a little bit of uh, still moisture on it I put this on it and what it does is sort of seals as sort of um, this is for um, moisture and it sort of seals in moisture in my face and then I just sort of let it dry and then I put my other lotion on and my um, sunscreen things like that but I was out of this this was like fourteen dollars I know I know but you know as a nomad I really do want to start I really want to continue not start I want to continue taking care of my skin especially my face yeah this is what it is yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I just want to continue you know if you watch my videos um, this is what it is uh, that I spent uh, I started ordering and I went and I I looked up uh, I think her name's dr. Dre and she's on YouTube my daughter turned me on to her 
and she's a dermat she's a um, she's a dermatologist. She's a doctor, and she goes into different products. She's got a she got a big website. I wanted to get some of this this hand sanitizer, and I was really running low on this. And I keep that also in my bin, where I call the kitchen under the kitchen sink. And what I do is I refill these as needed. So. And then I got some more, <laughs> I know, yeah, got some lip gloss. I do like it. Uh, this one's like almost empty, so. Okay, this wasn't that expensive. Okay, so that's pretty much my non-food product. Oops. This is what I do with my bags. I just kind of squeeze the air out. Give it kind of a loose. That way they're easy to grab. Yeah, and then I put it. I have a couple of different places I keep these. Okay. Food. Uh, let's do produce now. They didn't have cucumbers. What the heck was that all about? But I did get tomatoes. I won't eat too many. <laughs> I really do like these. Oh my God. If I find that I don't kind of fill up on produce and the ones that I really like and kind of last, I'll start eating other things. And, and yeah. So I like my produce. What other produce? Um, I already have a couple apples, but they had Honeycrisp apples for really good price. I think this is what I'm going to have for breakfast. Yeah. Apples. Dip it in ranch. Yeah. Apples. These look good. Mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to dip them. I'm just going to um, eat. And then if they start to turn, what I'll do is I'll put them in my pan and saute them. Yeah. Make a little cheese pizza or something. I almost got cheese, but I didn't because when I get cheese, I just like start gobbling it up. I just, I can't, I can't stop eating cheese. Cheese, now cheese is like candy. So, and then. Avocados. This one's got to be eaten right away, so I'm going to have that for breakfast. This one can wait till tomorrow. I saved these produce bags for my, um. For my garbage can. I just put a little bit of a knot there. And it fits really nice. I got this at Walmart. I think this was like $4. It's got a little handle. It looks nice. And it goes with my motif, right? The blue. And I thought, you know. I mean, I deserve to look at nice things too in here. I try to keep things nice. And so, I keep these. I just have a little bag. You know, in the back of my chair, my captain, the cap, the driver's chair, the captain's chair, um, there's that little pocket on the back of it. You can put things in. That's where I keep these. And I just put these type of baggies in there, and it's easy to get at. Okay. Whoops, there's another one. This one in here. I see Max. Hey, Max. Shout out. I see he's messaging me. You can't see it, but these, he keeps sending messages to me. See him later. Okay, so. So how y'all doing today? You ready for Christmas? I need to go to the Dollar Tree. And I know where, where my the Dollar Trees are here, the ones I like. I want to redo these. Oh, there's another message. I want to redo these. You know, I was thinking just for now, um, doing a Christmas. I mean, it'd be a way to decorate. Although I do like the purple and everything, but I'm thinking about going a different color. Go with another color scheme. Okay. Yeah. Orange juice. I didn't get cranberry this time. I just got orange juice for today. I mean, there's so many Walmarts around tomorrow. I can go back to Walmart if I wanted to. 
That's one of the things with being in a city. You get to go to Walmart a lot. End up spending more. Okay, so what this, I was out. This morning, I didn't even have any use. Oh, there's another message from Max. Can you believe it? I was completely out of these. I had to drink coffee without these. I got two. And I got three. Um, I don't like flavored ones, although I do like... I got these. They didn't have my French toast and cinnamon. I can't find it. Um, so I got hazelnut, something different. And then this is more expensive. But I do that. chocolate cream. This is really good. <laughs> it really is good. Yeah. I know it's got sugar in it. Oh, there's another um, message from Max. He keeps messaging me. Is he saying so? <laughs> hey, Max. <laughs> uh, Bridgeford, if you like so sometimes people complain, and I did too, complained about that they, um, especially for older folks, and because uh, I have uh, partials, and um, not dentures. Somebody said, dude, sounds like you have dentures. No, I don't. I have partials. And, um, or dentures. If somebody has dentures or partials, or they're, they're just older and their teeth aren't as strong. These are soft. They're not hard. I mean, I fell to one time at Walmart. I thought, oh my gosh, those feel soft. I don't really like the original. I like the teriyaki, but they didn't have any at this one. I went all the way down there, and there was so much they didn't have. But I got, this is $10. Yeah. But it's worth it. I don't care. It's like buying a steak, I guess. You know. And then I was out of these. You know I love my cheese cups. Yeah. Nacho. These are good. Not too much more for $105. Yeah. You'd think I would have got a whole lot more. I think I can deal with my salsa and keeping this for two, three, four days because it's really cool outside. And somebody had mentioned that salsa, they said salsa, if it's not refrigerated, it can turn to arsenic poison or it can turn like poison. But so I thought, oh, okay. If it's, but I think that's in the heat. I'm, I'm gonna actually. Now my daughter is in the medical field, and she knows nutrition too. Um, she said that she didn't think salsa would be a big deal, but yeah, you never know. Don't want to get poisoned, you know. Um, if you're new to my channel, you know I love this. Nomads love these chicken. It's chicken breast. And it's really good. So. Um, 98 cents. Hello. Hello. 98 cents. And it's just the right size. It's just the right serving size for one person. So, um, yeah. And if you're really, really new, I'm a nomad. I live full time in my minivan. I've taken out all the seats except the driver's seat. Even the, um, passenger seat is out. And, yeah. So, so it's pretty cool. And I've got lots of room in here. There's no build out. My bed, I roll my bed out like a, like a bed roll. And then I roll it back up. These are my pillows and my blankets. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Got a little decoration. Got a little plant life going on here. It's fake, but it works. I wouldn't want real in here. <laughs> yeah. And then I actually was towards the end of being on BLM land I was eating these so I wanted to replenish these I got two I got four chickens oh now there it, <laughs> it said what would you like for your last meal you know the last meal thing oh this would be included I know some people don't like them at all I love me lima beans oh I just love lima beans <laughs> I love them yeah Kind of, they're more expensive. I got two lima beans. And then, of course, I got that. Oh, gosh. This is pretty much what I got. And these are what I'm going to, what am I going to eat today? I'm going to eat this. And mushrooms, a couple of mushrooms, and an apple. 
I was kind of hoping to have a cucumber. I really like cucumbers, but. Well, hope you're doing really good. I'll try to, I'll, well, I won't try. I always hate to say, I'll, when somebody says, I'll try. No, don't try. Do. <laughs> Do not try. <laughs> like um, Yoda, you know. Try, do not. Do. Yes. Yeah. Um, I forget how he talked. That was a bad, that was a bad um, imitation. <laughs> yeah. So, you're going to go different places and try to do some filming for you in the Tucson area. There's BLM land out here, too. So, I may check that out tonight. So, I love you guys very much. Today I'm going to slack line. I'll get some footage of it So for the next video. So, love you. Mwah. Have a really, really good weekend.